Which kind of a drum would you like to try? Wayne Kane is 82 years old. This collective jam session is his favorite time of the week. Thumbs up. It's music therapy for those who've suffered a stroke. Well, I'll give you something to do and enjoy all the company. Wayne is a drummer, there's no question about it. Give him the beat. He can do all kinds of rhythms and paradiddles on the drum. He actually likes to end songs with a little dut 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 And he can actually play in a way that he can access his most healthy self. Music do make you feel younger. I tell all my friends. I'm Wayne is part of a group put together by the Victoria Stroke Recovery Organization. The weekly music therapy session is led by Joel Croker, a Victoria based music centered psychotherapist with extensive education in music and psychotherapy. All right, so let's After a stroke, often people will lose their ability to either speak or, or understand speech. So we can use music and musical processes to engage other parts of the brain that are still healthy. And we can help people learn how to speak again through melodic intonation therapy. That's the plan specifically with 62-year-old Bob. I'll try one of these kind of okay. like an apple shaker. Bob suffered a stroke two years ago and is limited with his words to the occasional okay or the rare good morning. But when the music starts... One of the strange things and amazing things that's happened is that some people who have trouble speaking are actually finding a way to sing in the group. Dino, won't you blow your horn? <laughs> I was blown away because he's singing the words. Through music, Bob's found his voice. He's managed to, to express himself musically in a way that without the musical environment, he isn't able to express anymore. On the surface, it may look like just a typical sing-along, but each session is a carefully designed harmony of science and art. Some of the research, some of the brain research shows that when we're improvising, when we're doing musical improvisation, part of the forebrain shuts down, which allows us to take musical risks. And we can do things that we would have not normally done because it would have been inhibited. And some of the people in the group really took that. The therapeutic benefits may vary for each individual, but for everyone who attends, the group activity reduces social isolation. So that's another one of the main aims, is just to bring people together to have a collective healing and therapeutic experience together through music and song. The nonprofit Stroke Recovery Association heavily relies on volunteers and donations. Wayne Kane was so inspired by the music therapy sessions, he decided to donate his own money, helping keep the program alive. Well, it's only money. You can't take it with you. I want to keep that good thing going. Music is, is a language that everyone speaks, right? Everything changes. It's almost as if the illness, the disability, everything just kind of falls away. Discovering medicine through music and feeling alive through song. Thank you. Good cameraman. In Victoria, I'm Kevin Chirac.